Welcome back, welcome back, and you know, glad you all could come back to hear the word, hallelujah. We know we're not just going to be hearers of the word, we're going to be doers of the word, hallelujah. I hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up, we didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can do absolutely nothing of our own, not even breathe. It is the Father, tell him thank you. Thank him for everything. And tell your loved ones that you love them, we're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Hallelujah. We're back on our regular reading, and today we're on Proverbs chapter 1. And they have different parts to it, because Proverbs is pretty lengthy, almost like Psalms. So we're going to do Proverbs chapter 1, part 1. How Proverbs can be used. And I believe we're going to say a prayer. Hallelujah. Yes. Say a prayer for children of all ages before we begin our reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for waking us up this day. Thank you, Father God, for your daily provisions. Thank you, Father God, for your love. Thank you, Father God, for giving us parents that love us. Thank you, Father God, for your love. And we love you, my Father. And thank you for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated, with love and respect. And we thank you, my Father. And it's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen, indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 1, part 1. How Proverbs can be used. These are the Proverbs of King Solomon of Israel, the son of David. Proverbs will teach you wisdom and self-control and how to understand sayings with deep meanings. You will learn what is right and honest and fair. From these, an ordinary person can learn to be smart and young people can gain knowledge and good sense. If you are already wise, you will become even wiser. And if you are smart, you will learn to understand proverbs and sayings, as well as words of wisdom and all kinds of riddles. Respect and obey the Lord. This is the beginning of knowledge. Only a fool rejects wisdom and good advice. Mm. Well, God's will and tomorrow, we'll still be on chapter 1, but we'll be on part 2, Warning Against Bad Friends. You tell your loved ones that you love them when I promise tomorrow or not, even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. Hallelujah. I hope you all have given your life to Christ Jesus. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? You done tried everything else. Jesus died for our sins, not anybody else. But the time is coming. You're going to wish you had a given your life to Christ. Hallelujah. You need to be reading your Bible daily, going down on your knees in prayer, crying out to the Father, seeking his face. The Lord thy God says, seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all other things be added there too. You need to be seeking him, and you need to be in daily repentance, because we know that the spirit wars against the flesh. And while we're in these fleshly bodies, oh, help us, Lord. We need the Lord every day, so you need to repent, all right? And we need to be leading others to Christ. Father's pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. So many have something to say. The Lord has given many to things to say and do. But a lot of people are holding back because you're worrying about what other people are going to say. Listen, when we go before the Lord on Judgment Day, it ain't going to be anybody going to stand with us. We're going to stand alone. We need to be being obedient to the Father. And what he tell you to do, do it. Don't worry about what somebody else is going to say. And people, whatever you do, don't mock those children. The Lord is pouring out His Spirit upon these little kids. They're coming out and they have dreams, they have visions. Some of them are afraid to tell you because of people wondering what they're going to say. I don't care if, you live, if you're not living a holy life. Don't stop those kids from coming to the Lord. The Lord said you better you be a millstone hung around your neck and you drown in the sea than to stop them little ones from coming to Him. Hallelujah. All right. I tell you all the truth. I love you all with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day, children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike. I love you, and Father God loves you more. God bless you. Bye-bye.